everyone, thanks for tuning in to my channel. I'm Joanne with Quiet Waters Farm and Craft. I'm gonna be making some sugar scrubs today. This is great with the holidays coming up. We're in November, so I've gotta get started, uh, not only to give gifts out for family and friends, but also I have a craft booth in one of my friends' shops. And so these are something that is just a little gift that you can throw in a stocking, or if you have a coworker that you're just, you don't know what to get them, but this is something that is just a great little gift to give them, and it doesn't cost very much to make. So let's get started. Okay, so what I've done is I've just put a half a cup of brown sugar in here. Now I am making a, um, a vanilla coconut scrub first. So, like I said, we did a half a cup of brown sugar. Now we're gonna add three tablespoons of coconut oil. Now, you can either use the hard stuff like I'm using or you can use the liquids, it really doesn't matter. It's completely up to you because we're gonna blend it all together anyway, so having the liquid would probably be just a little bit better because it might be easier to blend up. Okay, then we're gonna add a fourth a teaspoon, and I'm just gonna drizzle some in here, but it's a fourth a teaspoon of vanilla. And that's it. That's all we're gonna put in here. So we're gonna get all this mashed up. Now, after you mix this up, and if it smells too much like sugar, uh, you might add just a little bit more vanilla. It's all to your liking. Um, if you don't want a strong scent on there, then I would just do the fourth of a teaspoon. I believe this makes, um, I believe you can do two three ounce jars, but I've switched to four ounce jars, so I'm hoping uh, this makes, uh, a double batch here so I can fill up two jars instead of one. All right, so all we're gonna do is get out our, I just went to Walmart and I got these little four ounce jelly jars. I got a 12 pack and they were $7.98. Uh, so I thought that was a great buy. They were on rollback. So uh, that's always a great time to get them. But we're just going to pack this in here. And it looks like this will just make possibly one jar. Because I'm going to pack it in here. So I'm good with that. I didn't add very many ingredients. So I can always make up another batch. But it looks great. And this is just a scrub. Um, now if you're doing it as a gift, uh, something that you could add to this is a little spoon like a wooden spoon or um, if you go to Goodwill or like Dollar Tree or wherever you can get the little um, tablespoons or teaspoons you know whichever one you want because you actually don't need very much of this it's a great little sugar scrub um, for your body um, if you have you need it on your face. I would do it very lightly um, on your face. You, you can use brown sugar on your face, but not regular sugar, because regular sugar is a lot harder, um, but brown sugar is very soft. So you can actually use this on your face. And the coconut will be a good moisturizer for your face. So, you know, with these lids, they come apart, so you could actually put this on top, and then you could put a piece of fabric on the top of that something holiday-ish and then put your ring on there, tie some burlap string around there and it would make a great little gift. So that was this, makes one little gift that for someone or even yourself. If you wanna do um, home stuff, uh, instead of going out and buying all those expensive scrubs that you get in the store, you know, uh, I had all this at home, no big deal. Okay, so there's our first scrub down. I will make sure to put all the ingredients down below in the description box just in case you have any questions you can just throw those right in there okay so the next one that we're gonna do is a vanilla latte now I do a vanilla latte and this year I'm actually going to add almond I believe I just said I was gonna do almond in this but it was the wrong one no that wasn't on it 
No, sorry. Scratch that. Don't even listen. I had to redo my video because I messed up so bad. And I just messed up again, but we're just going to keep on rolling with it. All right, so um, we're going to make a vanilla latte. And for this, you're going to need um, your coffee grounds. So if you're a coffee drinker, you have your grounds left over, this would be great to use that for. Coffee is very nourishing to your skin, so it's great for your body. Um, I'm also going to make an, I'm just going to call it an almond mocha just because I'm using coffee, but I'm gonna be using an almond extract here. And then I'm just gonna be using some imitation vanilla because this was cheaper than buying this. So um, this one I got on sale a long time ago, but I'm actually using it now. So um, we're gonna be using the same ingredients. We're just gonna switch the almond with the vanilla. So you'll get a double show of this. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to get a fourth a cup of brown sugar. And you want to kind of pack it in there and this should make one four ounce jar because it's not very much uh, that you need and we're going to take a tablespoon and i do compost with my coffee grounds i save them until my bowl is full and then i take it out spread it around in my garden um, and i also do it for uh, some of my plants all right so we have one tablespoon of coffee grounds then we're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, then we're gonna do, we'll do our vanilla first. We're only gonna add a fourth a teaspoon, just one little dribble. And we're gonna mix. These are such easy little scrubs. Uh, everybody that um, has come in the store has raved about these um, and they've come back and bought more. You know, if you're in an area that you can put a craft booth in, you could just do the scrubs. It's something very easy. You know, they get those travel buses. I'm going to add, see how soupy this can be. It's really liquidy. If it's that, then add a little bit more brown sugar to kind of help sop that um, up. You might go with a half a tablespoon of oil. So I just added a couple little pinches just to make it a little bit more firmer. The coffee is great for your skin. It's great for, you know, a lot of things. So, um, but like I was saying before, you know, in our town, uh, they have, it's, it's a little depot district is what they call it. And, um, they got like a Model T store and there's a, a big furniture store, there's a coffee shop and a few other things, a photography place. Uh, and they just, uh, there's one lady that does flowers and different kinds of stuff. And then right next door, a guy just opened up like a billiards uh, thingy. So it's really coming uh, together down in that little town there where I set up at and um, they have little travel buses that come through there. And so all those little old ladies love stuff like this because it's something they can just throw in their purse and they can either use or they can gift it to somebody else. So great little thing. All right, so it will continue to look a little bit liquidy, but that's what you want. All right, so we're just gonna take this and we're gonna fill up our four ounce jar. So this is only about a two ounce, so I'm gonna have to make another one. So I'm gonna go on to the next um, one, which is our almond mocha. So I'm just gonna keep using this bowl because it's the same stuff that I put in there. All right, so with our almond mocha, we need one fourth cup brown sugar. Okay, one fourth cup. Then we need one tablespoon of coffee grounds. One tablespoon, all right. And then we need, I'm only gonna do a half in here, half a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more than a half. Then we're gonna add the almond extract, a fourth of tablespoon, or teaspoon, sorry. Fourth of teaspoon, not tablespoon. Sometimes I get those mixed up on my videos, I'm very sorry, but I put everything in the description box so in case I said it wrong, 
it's in there. <laughs> Sometimes I can mess things up. And I don't mean to. I just get tongue twisted or I just get started talking. See, I didn't add enough. Now I need a little bit more oil. All right, so I guess we're going to have to use the whole tablespoon. Yes, that looks much better. So it's coming together. We're just going to keep on mixing it up here. I can smell the almond, so it smells really, really good. And it's just a different flavor um, than a vanilla. Some people don't like the vanilla smell. Um, I have a couple friends that don't like vanilla at all. And so they like the almond. Just a different texture, a different flavor. And I'm also going to have to make, I should have just made a double batch while I was in here, but that's okay. I'll go back after the video and do it. All right, so it's just a big glob of stuff. We're just gonna chuck it in the bowl, or in the jar. Okay. Mash her down a little bit. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to make another one of these. They're turned out great. I mean, it looks like a whole lot of, uh, you know, crap in a jar, but it's actually great for your skin. Okay, now also things that you can use this on is your elbows and your knees or your feet. But like, um, but if you want to use something that's a little bit stronger, like I said, use the white sugar, like on your elbows and your knees where you have a little bit more tough skin that, you know, gets abused every now and again by whatever you do with outside or whatnot. Uh, my kids are always banging up their elbows or their knees. So, you know, that's something great. All right, I am going to, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna wash out my bowl and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. So the last sugar scrub that I'm going to show you is called a sweet mint sugar scrub. All right, with this one, we're gonna be using cane sugar. Now what I picked up is something called a Morena pure cane sugar. Got this at Walmart, it was like four bucks. for this big giant bag. Um, I was getting the in the gnaw sugar, but I was paying like almost $3 for that. And I get twice as much and I pay one extra dollar. So I figured that was a little bit better. Now if you can find um, raw cane sugar or some other place, like on Amazon or whatever, and you're wanting to do a big bunch of these, then that would be something great to do. All right, so we need a third cup. Third cup of cane sugar. All right, in the bowl you go. Then we need one tablespoon. Oh, I didn't wash out my tablespoon. Let me just wipe it off with my little towel here. A little coffee never hurt anybody, right? Okay, we got it. All right, so we need one tablespoon of olive oil. Rip that right in there. Now, here is the little kicker that I forgot to grab. It's on the other side. Okay, sorry, got a big bar here. Is honey. So we're gonna add two two tablespoons of honey. That doesn't wanna come out. Alright, there's one. I better use my spoon to get this out here. Oh, it's gonna slide right out because we put the oil in there. Yes, do your oil first, then do your honey because it'll make the honey slide right out. Hopefully we have that again. But knowing me, the honey took all the oil out. So, and of course I turned my bear over. Honey, let's go. Get on out of there. All right. There we go. It's going to slide right out pretty much. So we'll turn the back of our spoon so we can get it out and then wipe it on the side of our bowl. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to be using some peppermint extract for our mint. And you're only going to need a fourth teaspoon of this also. Mm. Okay. 
it smells like mm, goodness. Good and minty. The honey will keep it all together. The oil will keep it moist. The sugar is going to help get all the dirt and grime off of you. And the peppermint's going to help with toxins. Simple, 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 and it smells so good. I just like want to eat it because it smells like a peppermint stick. All right, get another jar, rip off another lid, throw that off to the side. Let's throw us in some sugar scrub. This one might make a whole four ounce batch here. It stays together fairly well. Now this is one you're going to want to keep that lid on really, really tight because this could possibly dry out really quick with the honey. And I wouldn't keep this in a very hot or cold place. Um, you know, keep it in your bathroom drawer or up in your medicine cabinet. I would say to where the temperature pretty much stays the same. Well, that one did pretty good. I would say that that is decent. Yay, that looks so, I just wanna eat it. And yeah, I'm totally not gonna do that. All right, so we have made a whole lot of scrubs. I know I made another, oh, there it is, right in front of my face. So we made four scrubs. I thought I was gonna make three, but we made four, yes. Okay, so here's vanilla coconut, vanilla latte, almond mocha, and sweet mint. So I will put everything down in the description box. I hope that you like this. Please give me that thumbs up. Y'all have a blessed day and thanks for watching.